Ever since I started high school, I had high expectations for myself. I set my goals high. And over the years, I've achieved a lot of great things. I've done so with the help of the best teachers, counselors, family, and friends that I could ever imagine. Ever since I've been planning my future, my career aspirations and education goals, my mother's motto has been, the sky is the limit. And I've taken this to heart. By understanding that there is no limit to what I could achieve, I went into high school with the attitude of an achiever. And the supportive faculty of this school has given me the tools necessary to learn and to take action. And most importantly, while pursuing my goals, I have refused to let anything hold me back. I've taken risks, challenging myself to get the best education I can and to test my leadership skills. And along the way, there have been people who have tried to discourage me from attaining my goals. In the past year, I've heard another model from several professionals who have achieved a lot for themselves. People from speakers at Bad Boy State to the Southern Lakes Academic Banquet. This is the second model I've taken to heart. Throughout our lives, at different times, we will find ourselves surrounded by people who are encouraging and people who are discouraging. It is our decision who we will listen to. It's been difficult, but I've learned to look past the negative, discouraging people and focus on those who encourage me to achieve. And now that we're all heading out into the world to take on life's challenges for ourselves, we can all achieve great things if we listen to those people in our lives who encourage us to do so. The people who tell us that the sky is the limit. Thank you very much.
the true origin of the word reflects none of these attributes. In fact, valedictorian comes as an anglicized form of Latin. Now, I know what the students are thinking. We're, we're just about to graduate. We're now learning about this kind of stuff, but if you'll allow me. Yes, valedictorian comes from the Latin phrase vale dicere, which means to say farewell. Now, saying farewell is not an easy task in any regard, and much less a task that can be adequately completed by only a handful of students. However, it does bring to light two questions. To what are we saying farewell? And to what are we saying hello? Albert Einstein said, the only source of knowledge is experience. And though our school is rife with rigorous coursework and enthusiastic teachers, I feverishly agree with Mr. Einstein that the breadth of knowledge we now possess was covered not through the classroom, but rather through the comprehensive high school experience, through the friendships described by Andy, through the achievements championed by Jesse. So, how can we say goodbye to all of us? How can we say farewell to this home that has sheltered our joys, trials, and successes for the past four years? The answer is that we cannot. What's more is that we do not need to. It is true that in a physical respect, we will no longer be reporting to Central High School every day at 7 in the morning, a fact that might have a couple of supporters out here in the audience. But in the mental regard, everything we have experienced here will forever be engraved into our memories, whether we wish it to be or not. What we're saying to is still a mystery, and it will be different for every member of this class. But whether you fly into the workforce, search nobly into military service, or score high into the collegiate atmosphere, Remember where you grew wings with which to soar. And so, class of 2010, come, be a valedictorian with us and say farewell. But always, always remember how the experiences here at Central High School have irrefutably and irrevocably changed.